most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schwab, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical Together therapist. Together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Sciatica, Brad. Mm, that's we're gonna a term. Show, yeah, that is. Today we're gonna show you how the best way to walk, sit, sleep, and drive when you have sciatica. All right, because we a, all do those. Yeah, it's a nasty condition, isn't it, right. Brad? Right, yep, and, and these uh, little things can uh, make a big difference with this particular uh, diagnosis. By the way, Brad, as I look out on viewer land, I can see there's some new people out there. Oh, absolutely. So if greetings. You are, greetings. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We have a subscribe button over here on the left side of Brad. You're right. Please, and uh, we provide videos on a stay healthy, fit, and pain free. Very and good. We upload every day. Absolutely. Sciatica. That's, How are we going to walk? Well, first, let's talk about walking. You know, the yeah. one thing about sciatica is you're pulling on a nerve, mm -hmm. a nerve all the way along the length of the leg, and so if you take long strides, you're going to pull on that sciatic nerve and right. irritate it. Right. Especially if you're pulling and you're pulling your toe upward. I don't know if you got that down there, but that is going to stretch that nerve a little bit and it may cause some irritation. Yeah, in fact, we do a test on people. We, can do, we do it sitting or laying down where we actually take and lift their leg up like this and we pull the foot forward like yeah. this. And if it brings leg, uh, pain along the leg up into the back, that's positive, meaning I mean that you do have sciatica. Yep, some nerve involvement. So you can yep. see when you're walking, if you walk and you uh, take long strides and and you go off your toe like this, you can actually stretch that nerve. Sure. So what we want you to do is just very simply is to take very short strides and hit about midfoot while you're walking so you're not irritating that nerve on every step. Right. Because once you irritate a nerve, it stays irritated. Irritated, <laughs> not irritated. What? Whatever. Yeah. Bob. We'll get that speech therapist. Yeah. So you want to get things calmed down, and, and a lot of people may find out. You know, you're walking all day, and then you wonder why it hurts at night. Is because you were you were pounding on that nerve all day long. Sure. Yep. You want to grab a cane, Brad? Yes, I do, Bob. Okay. I. It would be worth your while to try a cane because sometimes I think it helps gap the foramen, Brad. Brad. Sure. You know, so we, in other words, the nerve is going to not be as pinched as much right. and less irritated. Yeah, the, the spinal nerve comes out, our nerve root comes out through the hole, you know, in your back, one of the little holes. That's called the foramen. The foramen, yeah. Right there and it drops and down. if you can maybe make that hole a little wider or more, give it a little more room, you know, with a cane, it might take some of the pressure off. Now, the thing is, Brad, I don't know what side it might help on. I would think it might help if you use it on the side of the pain, wouldn't you? Right, Yeah. right. This is one of those things you just try it and see yeah, what happens. Yeah, because it's also possible, let's say the pain's on this side, so I would first try it on this side, but it's also possible that if you lean this way, it might open it up this way. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. It's going to depend on the, on the body yeah. mechanics and how you walk. Yeah. This is one of those things you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. If it doesn't work, you don't use it. If it does, you'll know it because it's going to feel better when you walk, and you're going to say, oh, this is all right to use a cane. Quick, uh, quick uh, tutorial on a cane, Brad. Sure. You know, when you're, the height should be to the point where if you put your, your arm just slightly forward like this, the cane should hit you on the wrist. Right there. Right there. So this is, is a little bit low for me. Too short for Bob, yeah. yep. So you want to be able to, to lean on it and, and keep the arm fairly straight. All right, why don't we talk about sleeping, Brad? Sure. Um, you want to take a nap? Yeah, I always. Uh, it's a good time of the day to do that. All right, a couple things you can try. One, um, you could just try a rolled towel, Brad, like this, mm -hmm. and you know you could put it in place when you're laying on your back. I, I don't know what position you're going to sleep in, but if you if you like laying on your back, you can go ahead and put it right in the gap there, and it'll give a little more support to the back. Okay, get your hand out of there, so you can see, right? Yeah. Right? Belt line about, you'll know it'll feel good where it's, if it's but, in the right spot. Yeah, when you lay on your side then, Brad, you can also leave it in place. I got my mic there, so sure. um, let me go on to the other side here. So I lay on my side here, same thing, it fills in that gap. And, and what that's doing is helping line up the spine to keep it in a neutral position so you don't close that frame and pinch on the nerve. Uh, again, you'll know it's the right place, it's going to feel good right away. Yeah, we're all looking for just decreased pain here, so... Now, another alternative, they actually make um, a back roll or what Sleep roll. Sleep roll. Yeah, McKinsey sleep roll okay. where they wrap around. It's a long roll that goes around, does the same thing, but mm -hmm. it stays in place that way. I mean, right. you could take a sheet and just roll it up like this and tie it in place. And then you'd be, you know, especially this would be a good thing to try. Right. And see if you like it. 
And uh, that way you can know if you may want to purchase one. Right. Then, yeah, it's a good trial. Exactly. So you see the same thing here, Brad. Um, if I'm laying on my back, it's automatically in place. Sure. And if I lay on my side, it's automatically in place. Right. And the thickness of this, you know, may vary depending on the size of your body, the, the firmness of your bed. You might be a little thicker or less, and you do that by rolling up your sheet. Yeah, and you might take two sheets and roll sure, it up if you need right. a, th a thicker one. Yeah, so. Look at that, and then you can play games with your kids. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't a lot of you feel br bad for br Brad's kids, uh, Brad's kid? <laughs> So, oh, all right, yeah. um, another one, Brad, um, before we go to the wedge. Yep. Um, this is a simple one, but um, you take the, let's say this is the painful leg. Okay, left right. leg. So you're going to lay on your non-painful side, mm -hmm. and you're going to put two pillows. Do you remember this one, yes, Brad? Yes, I do. I had a patient once, I did this with her, and she had a smile go on her face right away. She said, this did it just like that. Yeah. Again, it, it readjusts your body so that it takes some stress off the sciatic nerve. Right. So, um, again, it's just as we just showed you. You lay on the side that is non-painful, um, and you put the painful leg up on the top, and you're going to put two pillows be uh, underneath the ankle and feet. But so. just remember, make sure you got a pillow or two under your head too not like Bob. Right, this would not be good. That yeah, would be yeah. a put, little bit. Put that under there, Bob. We, we don't want to give him the wrong All idea. Right. We'll get so that, We got it? All right. Uh, okay. Um, now you want to show the leg wedge? Yeah, yeah, I love the leg wedge. This, this you know, we, we often don't want you to go out and buy things, but this is probably one of the exceptions we're going to make here because this is really worth a try, wouldn't you say? I get a pillow, Bob? I want to get oh, comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say occasionally i have someone where i use this and they say it's not helpful with a back issue but i'd say nine times out of ten at least uh, people are very happy when they lay down on the plinth at work and i put this under their legs and they put a smile on their face and say oh does that feel good and something about the shape of we've talked about this before bob but the support on your hamstring area and your pelvis in your legs. And it's nice to put a cold pack under here. It's just a good, comfortable position. Or you could also just have that lumbar roll sure. under, underneath there. Yep. Or that the, the sheet that you you know tie around yep. you. Yep, that um, one would be too big, Bob. Give me the black one. Yep. There we go. The size of the roll, oh yeah, that, that that's better. Will vary from person to person. And you know, the thing about this, Brad, is what we talked about. We're not sh certain why, but this seems to work better than just putting pillows under the legs, doesn't yep. it? Yes. Pillows under the legs would be a, a good secondary thing to try. Mm -hmm. I mean, but primarily we think this works better. Right. And I, we have no, uh, we, we gain nothing by telling you this. We don't sell these or anything like right, that. Right, it's but, all uh, anecdotal, but yeah. from, from our patient use, my personal use, I can sleep with this. If my back is bothering me, I, was, I can sleep with this. You said you just had an episode the other day. Uh, right? Yeah, I was in a car for 350 miles in one day, uh, sitting in the hospital because my dad was sick, and I had a backache from all this. That night, the next night, I was really sore. I used this, laid down, slept for two hours like a baby. My wife wake, wake me up, and then it was time to eat. It was a good deal. Yeah, it's funny because he acts like a baby a lot of times, too. Oh, Bob. All right, let's talk about sitting, Brad. Um, the first thing... We're going to say, Brad, is to avoid sitting as much as possible sure. when you have, especially a herniated disc, because it's just kind of promoting that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pu it, it's pushing the disc out. It's it's not helping it heal. Right. So, and I I know I had an episode of sciatica when I was in school, physical therapy school of all things, and uh, and I was at a clinical, and I I would spend all my time either standing up or laying down. Mm -hmm. I would write my notes um, standing up sure. on a countertop. Yep. And um, it, it takes a little discipline, but it, my, my back got better rather rapidly, right, Brad, because right. of it. So if, now we know, though, there are times you just have to sit. I mean, you can't it, drive your car standing. Right, up. right. <laughs> so you're going to want to try to get some type of lumbar support. Um, and you can just take a roll towel to start off with. And why I like that to start off with is because you can vary it depending on how much you need. How thicker the diameter, you know. And my experience has been people when they have, right when they're in the throes of sciatica, that they tend to like a little thicker towel. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, and, and later on then, when it's kind of calmed down, they like a thinner towel. Mm -hmm. So you just roll up a towel, we put a little tape on it, and... Uh, you can go ahead and usually you slid, slide it down to around the belt level. But again, I'm going to go by comfort on this, Brad. Yep, Some I, people like I it agree. a little bit lower. Um, and 
you put it in there and you just lean up against it and it, it kind of keeps that arch in there and keeps the back uh, somewhat out of trouble. Yeah, yeah move that. that. Oh, yeah. That, that's about where it'll go, but you'll know. I mean, once you get it there, you'll say, geez, if I was up a little higher, I think, and you go back and reach and you move it and then it'll, you'll, it tunes right in, self-tuning kind of a thing. Now, you know, if you're working at a desk, I want the, you know, the back upright, a good solid chair. I don't want one of those flexible chairs, Brad. Right. I mean, that's just not going to give you good support. And uh, if now, if you want to lay down at night in the recliner, I have no trouble with that, Brad, watching TV. I mean, right. Um, Cause I, I, I do that myself and you know, I have my patients do that as well, but I'll tell them get a throw pillow or lumbar support and get that back supported in a good position. Brad makes a good point. Like when you're in some of those softer chairs, this won't even be enough. And you take an, uh, one of those small throw pillows and put it in there. And that seems to do the job, doesn't it, Brad? Yeah, I, you know, Bob, I don't know if we got enough time, but. I just had an experience with my mother having neck pain, back pain. She was going to get an MRI with her neck. She bought, actually I bought her a recliner that was firm. Everything went away, back pain went away, neck wow. pain went away, and she didn't need the MRI anymore. And it was just a matter of posture or in her seated position. Um, the only other thing we're going to say with driving, we talked about sitting in the office, but sitting with driving, there's just two things I want to point out. One is if you're driving to try to take frequent breaks. I know that's difficult because you're on the road and you want to keep going, but it really <laughs> helps to stop and walk around ah. the car a couple of times or walk into the gas station or what, whatever. But the other thing is there's a little foot, what do you call it? A, a rest? foot plate, foot, foot plate where your, your left foot, they'll have a, a, a yeah. rubber uh, area that's firm and hard. And there's a reason for that being there. Uh, and you use it to push, push your yeah. bottom into the seat. So yeah, you may not even know you, your car has this or a truck. Um, if you look on the left side, there's a little foot rest or foot plate and you can put your foot there. And like Brad said, you can use it to push you back in and keep you locked in up against the seat and put that lumbar support in right. there. And that just feels really good to yeah, get you. Make, makes a big difference. Support. A lot so. of cars you know, do have built-in lumbar supports. Find out, if you, some people don't even know they have them.